My 12 years of SEO experience in under five minutes. Let's go. SEO is the art of ranking high in search engines with your website. Now, note that your website consists of many different pages. You have your about page, your contact us page, and so on and so on. Each of them is separately indexed by Google and each of them is gonna have their own ranking on different specific keywords. To make sure that Google indexes all of your pages, you need to generate a so-called sitemap. A sitemap is just an XML file that contains all the URLs that consist on your website and that you want Google to index. The sitemap needs to be uploaded to a Google service that's called Google Webmaster Tools. It's a tool for website owners and it has a lot of other great features as well like showing you how you're currently ranking for different keywords with your website and many other features. Now that Google has indexed your pages, let's talk about how you need to optimize each and every page so that you have a chance to rank in Google. Now, if you start reading up on SEO today, you'll start hearing about things like the Panda algorithm, the Penguin update, and so on, all kinds of cute fuzzy animals. But in its essence, SEO comes down to two different things. You have your on-site SEO and your off-site SEO. Off-site SEO is just primarily answering the question how many websites are linking to your website. And it's not just a number, uh, it's also important that the websites that are linking to your website have a so-called good domain authority. And that essentially means how many websites are linking to their websites in turn. How you actually get new links to your website is an art in itself and it's different from website to website. But for now, we'll put that aside because we need to focus on the on-site SEO. Now, on-site SEO, this is where you have 100% control over what you're doing, and this is where you need to be perfect. The first step is to try to figure out what keywords is it that you want to rank for? What are people gonna search on Google for you to come up? And to figure out what are people searching and at which volume, you need to use tools like either Google AdWords or Ahrefs. There's many other tools, but you need to use a tool to find out what people are actually searching for. So let's take a, a simple example here. Say you want to sell iPhones online. So you go to a tool like uh, Ahrefs and you enter the keyword buy iPhone online. And you'll see that there's a lot of competition. So their estimate is that it's a 91 as far as difficulty to rank. And the global volume is only 90 people or 100 people that are searching this monthly. Not that much, but super hard to rank. So that's not a nice combination. So we keep playing around with the tool a little bit. And we see that if we say buy iPhone online, now all of a sudden there's 1100 searches for this. And their estimate for how hard it is to rank for this keyword is easier than the other one it's a 79 so the whole game here is to find as much of a volume as possible and as low of a competition uh, level as possible that's the whole key here now start creating your content with those keywords in mind so you need to squeeze in those keywords into your title tag and your age tags in your actual content, you need to also enter like variants of the same thing. So maybe in your regular content, you have a phrase saying why you should buy an iPhone. So that's something that people still might be searching for and it's giving Google a better idea of uh, what your website is about. H write great content. It's very, very important. Don't have spelling errors. And when the content is done, then go to w3validator.com enter your URL there and make sure that the HTML on your website is perfect, that you don't have any broken HTML on your website. Then use Lighthouse, which is now a part of the Google Chrome uh, browser as well. And that tool will give you all kinds of information on things you need to improve as far as performance, speed, SEO, and so on. So just follow their step-by-step uh, -step guide and make sure to have as high of a score as you can in Lighthouse. Know this. Google looks a lot at your website page speed and it's getting more and more important. So use a tool like Ping, Ping Them Speed Tool to evaluate and audit your website and see what improvements you can make because it's just getting more and more important. I've personally doubled uh, the traffic to one of my websites just by improving the load speed. All right, so keep that in mind. That's it, you know, it's 20% of the information that I have, but it's gonna give you 80% of the results and it's a good starting point if you haven't worked with SEO before. If you have any questions or thoughts, please write them down in the comment below. If you thought that this was valuable, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.